They're choosing us over some of the more probably popular or well-known fashion programs in places like New York or Los Angeles. When you think of fabulous fashion schools, Central Michigan University probably isn't the first place that comes to mind, but it should be. Recently named one of the country's top 25 fashion schools on fashionschools.org, CMU is leading the way when it comes to some of the most innovative teaching techniques, Charlie. And they are using some of the industry's most groundbreaking tools and technologies. In this special report, Fox 32's Courtney Hunter find out why CMU is becoming known as a school with style. We really touch on a broad array of possible careers, from the high, high tech and scientific to the very creative and everything in between. And not a lot of universities are able to do that and do that well. A well-rounded education is something both staff and students at Central Michigan University's Fashion Merchandising and Design Program are extremely proud of. I really enjoyed like the mix of everything, how it's not just about like the artsy side of fashion or like the business side of fashion or like the science side of fashion, but they really try to incorporate all of that together. I think our students really come out with the opportunity to have hands-on access to a lot of equipment and skills that they wouldn't otherwise have. And some of that equipment is exclusive to CMU in the Midwest. One of the school's most recent innovative courses is the only one in the entire country. 3D printing and fashion, which I teach, is the only semester-long class dedicated specifically to 3D printing and fashion at a university in the country. There are five schools in the country that have a MakerBot Innovation Center. We're one of those five. And in the Midwest, we're the only one. This technology is giving students hands-on, real-life experience that's pushing CMU higher on the list of well-respected fashion schools. So the fashion industry is just beginning to adopt this as a new technology and figuring out how best to use it. So our integration of that really kind of puts us ahead of the curve. Another brand new addition, the visual merchandising lab used for applying lessons on product presentation. And once again, it's a facility exclusive to CMU. The merchandising lab and the way in which it's designed is unlike any other facility of its kind in the United States. We did take a look at a similar facility at Hong Kong Polytechnic, um, which is considered one of the best fashion schools in the world. Uh, so we're very excited that we've had an opportunity to create that learning space for our students here in the program. If that's not cool enough for you, check out Norm. He's a sweating mannequin. So Norm can, he heats up like a human would, and then he can also sweat um, somewhat like a human, very, very sweaty human. <laughs> and so we can see like how much sweat the fabric allows through and the garments allow through and what the like microclimate is between like the skin and the clothing. And at the end of the school year, it all comes together in a professional runway fashion show put on completely by students. The 2015 Thread Student Fashion Show. It is juried, so the students get professional feedback when they submit their work for the show. They put together a complete collection. They make all of the choices regarding their silhouette, fabrication, um, styling, uh, getting their models ready, fitting it to their model. It's an opportunity for them to share with their family and their friends what they've been working on all year. And for some of the students that are seniors, it's the culmination of their academic career here at Central. But aside from the incredible technology, innovative courses, and impressive co-curricular programs, the force that's pushing this flourishing program forward comes from the dedicated faculty and hardworking students. It's been really cool to see how the program has developed um, and gone from great to even greater. The faculty just really wants to keep pushing and growing and developing, so it's really cool to be a part of that too and learn from it. For Fox 32 News at 10, I'm Courtney Hunter.